All right, so what's poppin', everybody? Welcome to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon video. And I finally got footage for this. I want you guys to know I actually had to remake this video because the video that I had was of some, uh, I guess, raw footage of me not even getting a Pokemon, but more so me just showing the gameplay and how it works. But now I actually have gameplay of me getting a, a legendary Pokemon that you can soft reset and a shiny Pokemon that you pretty much have to go into the mini game with or looking for in the mini game to begin with. So this is basically a guide, a new guide on how to shiny hunt in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And I'm not saying SOS hunting is obsolete in these games. I'm not saying that 100%. They're actually still here. But this is basically a new way to get non-Alolan Pokemon and legendary Pokemon or legendary exclusive Pokemon and Ultra Beast in your game. Now, before we actually get into that, we have to actually uh, explain the wormhole rarities that you guys are supposed to be looking for. Because through this mini game, you're going to be seeing a lot of different types of wormholes, and you have to know which wormholes are what. So let's get into that. So when you play through the game, you're going to be seeing like a lot of green, a lot of blue, a lot of red, regular, common wormholes, and those are the ones you're going to want to avoid. If you guys do not know, the further you into the wormhole mini game that you get, the more success you are to finding a, a legendary Pokemon, uh, a shiny rare Pokemon, or like a or like an Ultra Beast that it's in its own thing. You have to go as deep in the game as you can. I think, I think the best safe bet is like over 2500 because I, all my luck has been over 2500 more so in the three uh 30 was at 3000 3900 area that you guys want to look for but let's get back into it let's talk about these wormholes so you have the commons then you have the rare the rare are like the basic ones that have like the little round golden ring on them regular colors just there then you have the ultra rares that seem to have like a wider circle like a double circle two circles around them and then you have the ultra beast which are the white ones and depending on how rare that ultra beast is they may or may not have like a legendary ring around them you may see like a regular ultra beast with just a, just a white wormhole but then you'll see like another one that's like white but it has like the legendary aura around him. I'm pretty sure those are like the really rare uh, exclusive Ultra Beasts that you can get. And I'm pretty sure that's how you get like Guzzlord and Kartana and all of them. So be on the lookout for those as well. And then you have the legendary Pokemon that have like this rainbow. It pretty much has everything you can ask for. It has like the rainbow um, circles around it. It's actually spiraling out of control. And when you go in there, you're pretty much looking for the legendary Pokemon that you're looking for. And I'm pretty sure you can soft reset for that Pokemon. So as you walk in and it says you have some eyes staring at you there's a presence in the air all you gotta do is save right then and there and you should be able to just go ahead and just go in and if it's a pokemon that you're looking for all you gotta do is hold as a lr start and just keep going on that chain and eventually it'll come out of shiny but in terms of the other ones um depending on how deep you go into the game depends on whether or not it's going to be a shiny now the commons the rares and the ultra rares i'm pretty sure there's like a set amount of pokemon that you can actually catch in those uh, areas if it's not an Ultra Beast or Legendary Pokemon. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go as deep into the game as possible. Like I said, 2,500 to about 4,000 is pretty much the best range you can get when it comes to getting anything that you want. When it comes to getting like a shiny Obama Snow, a Yon Mega, a shiny Drapion. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter, a Buizel, a Floatzel, um, a Crustle. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter basically saying, yo, Nick, all you got to do is go as deep as in the game as you can. You can get these ultra rare Pokemon, these shiny Pokemon, and you can soft reset for the legendary Pokemon. So they're not shiny locked, which is great. And the Ultra Beast, like I said, the farther you go in, the more likely you're going to be seeing a lot of rare Ultra Beast as well. Remember that when you catch a Pokemon, that if, if more so going towards the Ultra Beast and the legendary Pokemon, when you catch that Pokemon in specific, they're gone for the entire thing. When you catch them, they're completely yours. When you go in, there are no repeats 100%. All you got to do is just go in, get your Pokemon, and come right back out. So, of course, a lot of people are going to be sitting here and they're going to complain about um, the amount of, I guess, fixed rare Pokemon you can get into the Wormhole minigame. And that's probably like a humongous complaint of mine is there really isn't that much variety to this Ultra Worm thing. But honestly, like I said, it doesn't really... I guess this at some point, it doesn't really matter. These are like not Alolan Pokemon. So if you're trying to fill up your uh, National Dex or something like that, then by all means, you're pretty much going to want to uh, use 
this method 100%. But like I said, um, where, worm, where wormholes look like they're about like maybe between like 2,800 to like 3,000. Like I said, 25 to like about like 3,000, I want to say, because I've had a lot of success under 28. So of course, you know, you may, it, it, it's honestly randomized shiny hunting at this point. So pretty much 2,500 is basically like your safe bet. And then up to like 3,000 and above is what you can probably get for like a leg ultra rare or a legendary Pokemon or ultra beast. I'm going to basically showcase my gameplay of both getting a legendary Pokemon and a shiny Pokemon for you guys to watch uh, right about now. I also caught a shiny Obama snow that I'm going to post in the description section below. You can go check it out for yourself using this exact same method, 100%. And 
I think that's actually going to be it. Honestly, the, all you got to do is pretty much, I guess, get rid of the motion controls. You can do so by going to the Game Freak building and talking to the uh, Aether Paradise guy that's in the corner where Morimoto is. And basically, he'll tell you, he'll ask, do you want to turn off the motion controls? I know a lot of people do not care about motion controls. I know I turned it off for myself because it's easier to navigate around. But 100%, all you have to do is just basically get as far as you can into the wormhole mini game get about as like 2500 light years and i guess above anywhere there above and you'll be able to find a shiny rare pokemon and or soft reset for a legendary rare shiny pokemon and i cannot wait to see uh, how many people actually uh, work this out because this is actually a really really dope method of uh, getting the pokemon that you guys are looking for but with that being said hopefully this is helpful for you guys if not i apologize i'm sorry subscribe if you guys are new like comment and all that good stuff i'll talk to you guys later bye i love y'all